Right, so what I've been doing is uh, fixing an electric guitar. And so, to describe this electric guitar, I've been fixing this part here. There. Because something came loose right there. And what you really should do is buy one of these. Which is called a nut. And you knock the other one out. Put the new one in. You can glue it in. And you're done. And then you put your strings over the top of it. But no, Rob has to like use a piece of paper, doesn't he? Use this like a little bit of cardboard and stuffed it in there like that. And then tune my electric guitar up. And it seems to be holding its tuning, so leave it, you know, and it's like stuck out at the end, but it's kind of ragbag way of doing something, but it does the job. So why should I like buy another one of these? And then the problem, if you buy one, is getting it the right size and everything and messing about. So, but also what I'm doing is um, put up a green thing there. Can you see it? Shine thing. I want to do. I've ordered about another three more, and I'll stick them up there, like bang a nail in, and just hang it over it. And have me different colours, you know, like make it a bit psychedelic kind of thing, and have them like over there. And it kind of smartens up the room, you know, rooms can get a bit boring, a bit dirty, they look dirty, but you know, if you kept cleaning a wall, it still doesn't stop looking dirty, it needs something to cover it, it needs like interesting things, like a picture or something, otherwise it just gets on your nerves, so... So the next one could be red or something, or blue, or yellow, gold or something. I'll put a couple of nails in and hang it over, try and make a nice picture, and over there as well. So that's that. And what's going on in the head? It or music layer. You know, can't, can't get into the middle. <sighs> Fucking hell. The trouble is, is to get into the middle of the screen, right? I'm trying to get it, but it's not quite right, you know. Is um, I was wanting to do a roll over be Beethoven. Roll, roll over Beethoven. Roll over Beethoven. Roll over Beethoven. Roll over Beethoven. Tchaikovsky get a chance. Well, whatever words are. Gonna send me a letter to my local DJ. So, why I'm just singing a little bit of this is I've got the words. What I do is I get the words from the lyrics site, site and I post the lyrics onto Facebook. And on Facebook I've got the lyrics, I can get the lyrics up and then just start singing in parts slowly. I won't be able to do it now, but the next video I'll do it. And then a very important thing with me these days, it's almost obsessional, is to tune the guitar up to the right, exactly spot on. And because I'm practicing, I will just start doing some words to roll over Beethoven. And we've got, what's well, interesting is you've got the status quo version, you've got the, um, well, I can see him but I can't think, because I haven't really prepared this. It's not like a lesson plan, you know. Um, oh yeah, then there's Electric Light Orchestra's version, yellow. Roll over, roll over, la 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 la. Oh, the Chuck Chuck Berry version, which is the original Chuck Berry. So I, I kind of try and work to the Chuck Berry version. So it actually goes a bit slower than you think. It's a bit sort of different. And then it's kind of been rocked up a bit more by um, status quo. Uh, and the Beatles as well. The Beatles did uh, Roll Over Beethoven, I think. Roll Over 
Beethoven, of Beethoven, of Beethoven, la 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 I cast last night when I read it, give Tchaikovsky something or other, it was like the words are really clever, they're really good, it's kind of small poetry, but nevertheless it's very effective and I like it, I think it's pretty good, so um, you know, respect to um, Respect to Chuck Berry, because uh, it's great. You know, to write a song and kind of makes sense, you know. He's like talking about writing this letter, letter to his DJ, and I don't know what it actually is about. Is it about playing a record or something? So there's a few things there. Now another few things are that this guitar is pretty good. Because I can actually get my fingers into the frets, right? But both my electric guitars are actually just really a bit too narrow. So what I've done today is I've bought this thing called a, a Luthier's measuring thing. And then you measure down there and measure the action. That's, this is called the action. And you want it to be nice and easy, okay? You don't want it too high where you don't really press the strings down. So I've got this measuring device and I'm going to be uh, yeah, learning how to use it. And then I can help myself then by, by next guitar that I buy. Um, that the frets are wide enough for my fingers. Right? So this part of the fret, this is the fret here. Fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, fret 4, fret 5. So this, this fret has got to get these three fingers in there and it doesn't so I actually need a guitar that's bigger than this not bigger here but bigger there so that I can make put your fingers in the right positions which in fact it, it should really be that your fingers exactly in the middle of there exactly in the middle of that one and that one that's why I keep changing from this to that The, what's been a big problem for me is working on the technique uh, relearning my technique from uh, being a kid who learns on a guitar and your fingers might be fairly small and not so thick and your fingers fit in and so you're playing these nice chords and singing and you're doing a kind of perfect job but then as you get older things change, your finger sizes change and you play, but you're actually not thinking about putting your fingers right in the very middle and getting it kind of becoming more professional minded about everything. That's what I've been doing. So this is just like a little chat, and it reminds me of what I was doing. Ow, fuck shit! It reminds me of what I was doing today, on this day. It's like a record of what I've been doing. And so what I've been doing is I've actually I've been fixing an electric guitar. Take the back plate off. Um, take a string out. And clean it and put it in the spare bedroom and then tomorrow I'm going to check the cleaning of it and um, I'm, oh yeah, I'm kind of getting away with this nut problem that but we'll see tomorrow we'll see how oh, we'll see how it tunes up and if it's just slightly not holding this piece of cardboard is not holding it um, But really, I should get another nut, but I've got to find what size nut. <laughs> it goes on forever. There's all kinds of different sizes we've got to kind of slot in. I did it with a guitar like this, not this actual guitar there, but like that. Oh, it was the other end. It wasn't the nut, it was the bridge. I put a new bridge in at a certain point. 
the nut is a bit of a different. Right, that's it. I just have waffling. 